welcome to GeoGuessr. There was me, that is Fixer, and my three droogs, that is Matt. Greetings. Modi. Hi, hi, hi. And Pasta. Rejoice. And we were trying to make up our Razu docs on where to go this evening. I have no <laughs> idea what those words mean. He's speaking the NASDAQ or whatever it's called. Uh, okay. From uh, Clockwork Orange. From Clockwork Orange, yeah. <sighs> One of the films I still have to watch. And welcome to our second Halloween slash October scary uh, GeoGuessr custom challenge. This challenge was put forth to us by Sky Ash on YouTube. Thank you very much, sir. We don't know anything about what we're about to see, but it should be scary as hell, I think, right? Well, we'll see. I'm scared. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm shaking in my boots already. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the link for this will be in the description below. Go ahead and click on it if you want to play a, a scary one. Share your score. We'd like to see how you did. And um, make sure you put a two-minute timer on it. This is the retro style, so there's no built-in timer. So two-minute timer, and is everybody ready? Indeed. Ready. Yep. All right, three, two, one, go. Okay, so where are we at? The Silver Swan, where, oh, now I'm going to guess that that's probably not real, but um, I have absolutely no idea where Jurassic Park was filmed, but if I were to guess, um, it would be in Hawaii. Oh, I can move. I can move. I wonder if I can find my way down there. This is this is Jurassic Park stuff, right? Let's see if I can zoom in over here. I don't know what Silver Swan is. There is English. There's a T-Rex. Pretty sure this is Oh, can I get can I wonder if it can Get me on that freaking road. Oh, shoot. Holy cow. No leaning. Um, let's get out of here. Okay, let's go up. 40 seconds left. Oh, boy. Okay, can I, can I get a good look at this? Oh, that's not a... That's just a stupid ad. I thought that was a road sign. Gotta be. Gotta be Hawaii. Gotta be. Not very easy navigating through here. 15 seconds. What's that? That does not look like Hawaii. Oh shoot. Where am I? <laughs> okay. There's a gourd... Of something. Alright, time's up. Make a guess. Yeah, okay, great. Yeah, fantastic, exactly. What? <laughs> I don't know. So, I'm guessing um, that's some kind of Jurassic Park uh, amusement park or something. I don't know if, if that was perhaps where they filmed some of Jurassic Park. That was park. Dinosaur Land. Yeah, I see a Dinosaur yep, Island. Dinosaur Isle Land or Island in Baguio... Well, I don't know, man. Oh, yeah, there is... Uh, Baguio is a town there. Yeah, right, zoom in. Yeah, right next to the Holy Land. Cool, I, Holy Land, great. I'm not sure. Um, I figured... I don't know. My assumption was perhaps Jurassic Park was filmed near there. That's why you'd see a, a, a dinosaur amusement park, you know? And I'm like, I don't know where Jurassic Park was filmed. Hawaii sounds good. So I guess Hawaii got 694. And how'd you do, Matt? I, too, was spend a good chunk of that trying to rack my brain for where Jurassic Park was filmed. But I gave up on that when I saw Dinosaur Land or Dinosaur Island um, and just went with trees and mountains and placed it in Tennessee and got 149 points. <laughs> uh, Modi? I went with um, I went with Northern South America here in uh, Suriname and got 30 points. Nice. Yep. Pasta? 
Uh, I think I'll take last place for this one. I guess somewhere in Brazil, but I wanted to pluck it down somewhere in northern South America in the more mountainous regions. Got 17 points. Nice. Wow. Indeed. So none of us got really close, but you know, it's the Philippines, nope. and I, I don't think many of us know much about the Philippines. Yep. Uh, no, although not the at all. people looked um, like, uh, a little bit darker uh, skin color, so uh, South America was a somewhat safe guess for that. Yeah, that's what I thought too. But it also kind of had an Asian. I don't know. It's just weird. It's just weird. Uh, couldn't see the people, so yeah. Yeah, not really well. Anyway. Alrighty then. Um. Okay, so you guys ready for the next uh, round? Yep, ready. Yep, dude. Okay, three, two, one, go. And, oh, I gotta get the timer. Why is it not working? There it goes. Alright, so this should be fairly obvious. We got Salem on there. Um, I've never actually seen much of, of the town of Salem, and I don't know where it is exactly. I know it's um in Massachusetts somewhere, but I don't know. Well, there we go. Okay. So we have Brown Street, and let's get another street name. Salem Witch Museum. Maybe if I zoomed in, well, let's look for Brown, or is that Broad? No, it's brown. Let's go down here. Washington. Oh. I can't read that. Yankee something. Oh, I'm back here. I don't want to be back here. I want to see what the hell road we're on. Essex? And Hawthorne. Oh, so um, I'm guessing uh, Hawthorne is named after Nathaniel Hawthorne. I don't know where these places are. Oh, here's Essex. Let's get a drop on there. Now we just got to find Hawthorne. Sumner. Here it is. Although we got 20 seconds. Although it's not crossing. Jefferson, Broad, where's Brown? Monroe. I don't know. All right, time's up. Make a guess. All right, so we had Salem slapping us in the face all over the place, right? Yep. I have no idea where in the U.S. Uh, Salem is. So. Oh, no. Uh, yep. Well, there's, it's actually not the largest Salem. I think Salem, there's a Salem in Oregon or something that's larger, yeah, isn't there? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's yeah. true. Yeah, but this is the Salem where the witch got burned. Right. Exactly. Got famous for that. So, so I was looking for exactly that. But uh, seeing now it is located near Boston, I'm quite surprised, actually. Yeah, because it's it, it, it's it's really old. So it's going to be in one of the 13 colonies and not over off by Oregon, you know. Ah, yeah, right. Should have thought of that. So I, I, I found a few of this. I found Essex and I found Hawthorne. Oh, I didn't find Hawthorne. It says Hamilton. That's why I screwed up. Oh, no, there's Hawthorne. Oh, it's Hawthorne. Is there a Hawthorne and a Hawthorne? <laughs> That's confusing. I Probably. have no idea. There is. There's a Haw Oh, son of a... Anyways, I, I, <laughs> it's still, it's in Salem. So I got 6383. How'd you do, Matt? I found the Salem Witch Museum. On the corner of Brown Street, oh. at zero kilometers, sixty-four seventy-nine. Nice. Wow! Wow! So zeros across the board, and absolutely right on the spot, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Well done. Lucky git. <laughs> How'd you do, Modi? <laughs> I could not find Brown Street, but I was zoomed in as I found the Witch Dungeon Museum. So I was like, you know, that's close enough. We'll get that. I was still only point five two kilometers away. I got sixty-four thirty-five. Nice pasta. So uh, my I plucked it down initially somewhere in Virginia apparently, um, and was uh, looking for Salem on on the coast and in the states Pennsylvania New York, um, the olden colonies. Got twenty two twenty four points. Not too bad. Not too That's bad. Not bad. 
Yeah, it's it's not horrible, so hooray for that. You were on the right track, at least, with the way it was like on the coast and uh, all that. Yeah, it had to be a, uh, an old city, that's right. Right, exactly. All right, uh, round three, everybody ready? Ready. Yep, indeed. Three, two, one, go. And the timer's working okay. Okay. And we are in the mountains. This is feeling a lot like... Um, the what the hell's the name of it? The hotel from The Shining. I don't know. This isn't feeling like that at all. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know where we're at. There is a, 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 it looks like a church or something. They're driving on the right side of the road. Now, The Shining was filmed. The interior was filmed in a different hotel than the exterior, and it was based on a, a third motel altogether. And I know one of them is, is in, is it in Washington? It's by Mount Hood, I think. Oh, get off me. However, the one it's based off of, I think, is in Colorado. And I don't remember where the interior was filmed. There was a different one altogether. But if I remember correctly, Stephen King stayed in a hotel in Colorado, and he based it off that. The exterior was Mount Hood, and the interior was a different place altogether. But I don't know for sure if this is it. This, this could be like something in Romania, you know? This could be Transylvania for all I know. 20 seconds. I don't know which side of the road they drive on in Romania. I'm going to guess probably not the right-hand side. But this doesn't this doesn't look like America right here. But Oh man, I'm afraid. Should I go with Romania? I'm going to stick with it. All right, time's up. Make a guess. Okay, cool. Hi. Right. Oh, good thing I changed my guess. I was going to change huh. my guess at the last second. I'm like, I don't think they drive on the right-hand side in Romania. Wait, uh, you got out of do. there? How did you? What? It was a photosphere for me. But you can look down on the road. There were cars. Oh, yep. sure. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. do that. So they were driving on the right-hand side. Do they drive on the right-hand side in Romania? They do. Um, left-hand drive is only in the UK and Ireland and Australia, South Africa, Japan, but nowhere in Europe besides the UK. <sighs> so the architecture was was telling me probably Romania, Transylvania, right? But I was like, you know what? This they're driving on the right, maybe it's the US, and I thought that was probably the area where the hotel from The Shining was was filmed. And I guessed in um in Washington where that is and I got 596. What'd you do, Matt? See, I had no idea. Uh, I didn't look at the cars, and I couldn't get nothing from the architecture, and so I popped it in sort of North Sweden because mountains and trees, and got nineteen twenty. And Modi, I went with Romania and got twenty-seven eighty-eight. Nice pasta. As I said, I changed my guess uh, at the last time. Uh, I was thinking maybe uh, somewhere in the Scandinavian countries as well, but it looked more Eastern European to me. Uh, guess Romania as well, 2785. There we go. You guys ready for the next round? Ready? Yes. Yep. Three, two, one, go. All right, let's get that timer started, and it's not starting. There it goes. Okay, Avizendum. Maple Arts and Picture Framing. Oh, wow, look at this place. All right, so that looks like Australia right there, right? O2 Bar. So let's get a drop in Australia. I don't know what the hell would be haunted in Australia since the entire place is full of giant spiders. Italian restaurant and and mine. This is an old city, though, man. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Wow, look how old this place is. The Grass Market Hotel. 
Maggie Dickens, Dixon's hijinks. The smallest pub in Scotland. Why does it say the smallest pub in Scotland? Is that the name of it? The Scotsman? Is this... Oh my god. Is this... Is this Scotland? So... Let's go with, um... Let's go with Glasgow. I, I'd never... I would have guessed Australia, man. The beehive. I was convinced it was Australia. But, uh... What does that say? Hot dogs. The French Connection. Oh my gosh. The White Heart Inn. Metro. I don't know. There is place of, places of all kinds in here, man. Is there a way to get return to start? We got three seconds, so not, not that it matters. Frankenstein's! The world famous Frankenstein bar! Alright, time's up. Make a guess. Alright, so I didn't notice it at first, but we were right in front of the world famous Frankenstein bar. Yep. Oh, okay. Which I had no idea was world famous, but I'm I'm assuming it is. Uh, apparently so. So world I went famous right there on the corner. There was a there was a, a a bar and there was a huge sign and it was in the shape of Australia and it was called O2 and I'm like, oh, we're in Australia. <laughs> and, and and I'm driving around. I'm like, this isn't Australia. <laughs> no, it doesn't look anything like that would Australia. Be confusing, yes, I could see that. <laughs> and I'm looking and there's and there's there's the French connection there. There's the smallest pub in Scotland and there's all these different places. I'm like, where the hell am I? So I, I found more than one place that had Scotland in the name. So I went with um, Glasgow and, and got thirty-seven thirteen. How'd you do, Matt? I had plopped it in Oxford and then was just sort of poking around because it, it felt kind of old England to me. Um, and then I saw like a trash can, the word Edinburgh on it in the city of Edinburgh. And then I just started looking for that and did not find it before time ran out. Twenty four forty nine. Damn, and it looks like it's Bar Oz and not Bar O2. Anyways, Modi. I saw this Frankenstein thing, of course, but it's world famous. So you guys should just know that, first of all. It's world famous, not just, you know, <laughs> everyone else. But if you anyways, so. I, I saw a sign that said transport for Edinburgh, and so I picked Edinburgh and got uh, 6411. Oh, crazy. How'd you do, yep. Pasta? Um, I guessed um, England at first as well, because everything screamed England to me. Um, guessed Liverpool at first, but then on the last second, I saw a sign at uh, one of the hotels saying Hilton Hotel, Edinburgh City Centre. So, guessed Edinburgh, apparently in the outskirts, uh, 5,846 points. Oh, damn, I'm the one who's pulling up the rear on that one. That sucks. <laughs> we can't, oh, well. we can't console you at all. I see a pirate ship in the background. I'm, I'm excited. It's going to be good. Yeah. All right. You guys ready? Ready. Yep. Three, two, one, go. Well, there's a pirate ship here, but I, I have no idea what this is, where this is. Where are we? Oh, this is a photosphere, too. I can't move. I have no idea where this is, man. It's not in the water. Any kind of hints? Anything at all? I don't think... I don't think this is America. I'm guessing this is probably... Probably a real ship. I'm going with Barcelona for now. Any kind of sign, any kind of language. Ooh, 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 what's that right there? It says something battle, that is English. Stro it says STR something. Battle. 40 seconds. It's a colder climate. 
And, and there is English. All right, let's go with, um... I don't know, man. Let's go with New Jersey. I don't know. All I know is it's a colder climate and a pirate ship. And there's English. That's it. All right, time to guess. Oh, that's awful. You okay? Uh, oh, boy. Okay. That was failure all around. All right. Um, so it was a it was a photosphere. We couldn't move around, and I felt it was a tourist area. So the name I didn't think I didn't put any significance into the name of the photographer. Oh, sure. Yeah. So I'm looking around, and there is a sign in there, and it is in English. And my first guess was going to be in Spain. Um, but so everybody's wearing cold weather um, clothing, and I'm like, pirate ship, cold weather clothing. Maybe it's something along the eastern coast of the U.S. I guessed in New Jersey and got 11,176. <laughs> 11, How'd you do, Matt? Uh, about the same thought process, coast of South Carolina, 991 points. <laughs> uh, why is there a pirate ship in, in Stockholm? Is that a, a um, pirate that haven? That is not necessarily a pirate ship. That is a uh, could also be just a trade ship of um, the Renaissance and uh, medieval times. I don't think it's a trade ship. A lot of cannons uh, were trade cannons. Ships, but it could um, still be something yeah. regular naval, not necessarily pirate. Yep, indeed. How'd you do, uh, Modi? What does this have to do with Halloween theme, though? You know, that's no what I'm wondering. To be Maybe it's a haunted ship. Maybe that's why I felt it was a pirate ship. I guess the Flying Could Dutchman. Be. Could be. <laughs> Could be. I did not. I should have put the cold weather together. I put. I put Florida. I. I don't know why I went with Florida. I was thinking that maybe it was going to be some museum down there or something like that. But uh, yeah, I did not put the cold weather gear together. I should have. I should have thought of that. Anyways, I got eight forty eight as my score. How'd you do, Pasta? Um, I did. Better than you guys, apparently. No, um, so I know those sorts of uh, ship were used for just normal trading because there was no uh, Jolly Roger anywhere. So I didn't really think it was a pirate ship. And uh, since I know there are several museums in Germany which uh, put ships like this, uh, like that on display, I picked uh, Wilhelmshaven uh, on the North Sea shore. Um, got 22, 20 points. Nice. Pretty good. So just as history about that, that was the Wasa. It's a Swedish warship ah. built between 1626 and 1628. Oh. Oh, where'd you get that info? Nice. Wikipedia. <laughs> but, but how'd you know what to Not look bad. up? Sweden pirate ship. Oh, okay. Stockholm <laughs> okay. pirate ship. <laughs> wow. Well. Fair enough. <laughs> so I'm guessing they don't have too many of them in there. No. Apparently so. I'm I'm zooming in all the way, and that's in Swedish. Vasa so Muset. Yeah. yeah. Vasa yeah. Muset, uh, which yeah, is the museum, museum of Vasa, of or Vasa, Vasa, which is the name of the ship. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nice. All right. Are you guys ready for our final scores? Indeed. Yep. Um, I guess I didn't do too bad, considering I had two major failures. <sighs> yeah. Three major Maybe. failures. I only had one incredibly major failure. I got 12,562. How'd you do, Matt? 11,988. And Modi? I got three glaring, two glaring failures and like two, three like spot on things. And I got 16,512. Nice. Pasta? Very nice indeed. Uh, 13,092. Well, it looks like Modi's our, our Halloween weekly champion. He is. Ooh. Congrats. I'm a ghost now. <laughs> Special thanks to Sky Ash for uh, providing us with this challenge. Thank you, sir or madam. Thank you. And if you guys played along with us, put your scores down in um, the comments below, and uh, we'll see you next Friday where we'll, we'll have another scary slash Halloween challenge waiting for you. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.